Good morning. Welcome to Santiago de Compostela Parish. We welcome all the people who are joining us via the internet, as well as the people who are here with us this morning as one community. We come together on this feast celebrating St. Thomas the Apostle. And yes, his doubts turned into faith, but actually we always need doubts in order to turn into faith. But we come together now, so let us acknowledge each other's presence. Let us please stand. Let us, with a warm smile, greet the people around us. And of course, if you're at home, you're not wearing a mask, you should be able to smile, but here with a mask, the, the sparkle in our eyes should touch our hearts. And let us sing together our gathering hymn and come together in one voice and sing with one voice. Summons. I'm sorry? The summons. I am so sorry. Okay. The, 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 shirt, the opening song is the summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be known in you and you in me? <clears throat> we begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today the whole church celebrates the great apostle Thomas. We also remember our, our pastor, Father Thomas, uh, in our prayers today. Uh, we celebrate his saint, as well as uh, Deacon Dan today on his birthday. So we remember both of them in a special way in our prayers during this Mass. So to prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and remember the mercy pardon and peace of our God. You offer pure peace to us. Kiri eleison. Kiri eleison. You increase our faith. Christ eleison. Christ you are our Lord and our God. Kiri eleison. Kiri eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. highest. And on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we, we adore you, we glorify you. you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may glory in the feast of the blessed Apostle Thomas, so that we may always be sustained by his intercession, and believing may have life in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, whom Thomas acknowledged as the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, we are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Jesus Christ himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out, out to, to all, all the world, world and, and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness for us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you would believe this gospel word. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other apostles said to him, We have seen the Lord. But Thomas said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, today we celebrate the uh, feast of the great apostle Thomas. And in yesterday's gospel, we received one of the proofs pointing to the divinity of Christ. When Jesus said to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven. And the scribes partially understand what's going on. They said, who can forgive sins? Only God can forgive sins. This man is blaspheming. And this is exactly what Jesus claims to do. He acts and speaks in the very person of God. Your sins are forgiven. Well, in today's gospel, we have three more proofs pointing towards the divinity of Jesus. The first of which is his bodily resurrection. The second is his appearance to his disciples. And finally, third, is Thomas's confession of faith when he says to Jesus, when Jesus appears with the disciples, my Lord and my God. 
Sometimes in the Spanish masses, when the priest lifts up the Eucharist, the host, and then later the chalice, sometimes the people in the congregation will say, Señor mío y Dios mío, which is the direct translation of what Thomas says here, my Lord and my God. They recognize in the Eucharist, not just the presence of Jesus, but Jesus as divine, as God himself who has come to be here in the flesh. We have to keep in mind that for the people surrounding Jesus during his time, his divinity was not always abundantly clear. If you remember when Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? Some people respond, John the Baptist, Elijah, one of the prophets. They didn't know who Jesus was. And even after his crucifixion, what did the disciples do? But they fled. They thought it was the end. The human Jesus had died. That's it. It's over. But after the resurrection, there is no more doubting. Even Thomas recognizes the divinity of Jesus Christ, that he is God, and that by the power of God, he has been risen from the dead and now appears to the apostles. We too are also called to recognize the divinity of Jesus Christ, that he's not just a human figure, a great teacher, a wise sage, a, a strong prophet, but he is God himself come in the flesh. And with Thomas, we echo his words of praise, recognizing the divinity of Christ, my Lord and my God. Señor mío y Dios mío. With faith in the risen Christ, whose wounds are the signs of his victory, let us bring our intentions to the Father of mercies. Our response this morning is, Lord, help us in our weakness. Lord, help us in our weakness. That as a church, we may not be wanting in manifesting our faith to unbelieving people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness that there may be growth in the Church of Asia. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. That hardened sinners and unbelievers may overcome their doubt and embrace the true faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. That those who are overburdened with life, especially the lonely and the sick, may experience the joy of Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. That the faithful departed may share in the glory of everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us in our weakness. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Luis Barraza, for Father Gregory Dick, and for Father John Block. We also lift up the petitions that have been submitted to us for Father Benedict Yang and Felipe Ocampo, who uh, are suffering from COVID, for Alicia Moreno, um, who's suffering from cancer, and for the health of Ralph Ulibarri. We pray for the birthday of Deacon Dan Diesel, for Father Thomas on today, his uh, Saint Day, and we also pray for the repose of the souls of Anton Vasco, 
Nora Diocampo, and David Scott. And in a moment of silence, we offer to the Lord the intentions we carry within our own hearts and those we've placed in the Ark of Prayer chest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us in our weakness. Father, as we make our intercessions deep in our faith, like that of St. Thomas, may we love and adore your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Seeds scattered and sown Wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared us one, the living bread of God. Vine, fruit of the land, wine, work of our hands, one cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. Is not the bread we break a sharing in our Lord? Is not the cup we bless the blood of Christ outpoured. Seeds scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God. Vine, fruit of the land, wine, work of our hands, one cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We render you, O Lord, the service that is your due, humbly imploring you to keep safe your gifts in us as we honor the confession of the Apostle St. Thomas and offer you a sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abaot, Pleni Sun Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Tui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all their faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, Saint Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and, and in, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and, and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, <clears throat> who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 On your stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere dobis. On your stay, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere dobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Bring your hand and feel the place of the nails, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. For all those joining us in our Facebook Live or YouTube, we will pray now our prayer for spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, as we truly receive in this sacrament the body of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that we may recognize him with the Apostle Thomas by faith as our Lord and our God, and proclaim him by our deeds and our life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, and ask for her intercession today. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is With One Voice. Take the word and go out to every land. Shine the light of Christ to all the sea. May the lives of those we touch sing praise to God above. Let us sing, we'll sing. With one voice we'll pass the word along. With one voice bring justice to the world. And with all the angels we'll spread the goodness of God. With all power and glory, the word of God shall reign. Thank you for joining us this morning on our um, live stream mass, joining us in person. And we invite you to continue to recognize that we are called to take the word of God to the whole land. Have a great day.